What's up everyone? Tonight, I am in the kitchen cooking. Last week, me and Henriette made honey, it was honey garlic chicken. I never filmed it. It was so friggin' delicious. Oh my gosh. So, this week, we're making it again, and you guys are going coming with us. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the vegetables in the oven. We're just having broccoli, some Brussels sprouts, and a few carrots. We're going to put them in the oven, and then we're going to get started on the chicken. Here is the broccoli. It's fresh broccoli. Um, I am going to use, I'm just going to throw these in with them so that they can cook in the oven with them like I did last time. I do have um, four chicken breasts. Okay, so those are the vegetables that we're going to be using. I'm going to throw them in real quick. Then I'm going to get the chicken started. I have to find the recipe online. And I will bring you back and take you guys with me to make it. But guess what I found? I found a garlic press. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. I found a garlic press. I thought I was going to have to order one because I couldn't find them anywhere. I found it at the Dollar Tree tonight. Actually, Henriette ran over and she found it at the Dollar Tree. So, um... Yay, I got a garlic press. Yay. So I'm going to go back and get at least another one so I have an extra. But, um, because I don't think the Dollar Tree is going to hang on to them very long. Because I think they're more than, they're probably like 10 or $12. They're, I know they're not a dollar. Anyways, I was excited. Alright, so I got to find the recipe and I will set you guys up and bring you back. Alright, everyone. So I found the recipe. It's, it's honey garlic chicken online and their recipe is with chicken thighs my recipe is going to be with chicken breast um and here's the ingredients i'm just going to show you guys if it'll show up on the on the camera so let's try to get us a clear spot nope i don't think it's going to be clear Okay, so it's not going to be clear. So we need, um, you, you need your chicken breast. You need salt and pepper, seasoned salt, whatever kind of stuff you want to season it with. Um, it says um, two tablespoons of garlic powder to season, six cloves of garlic crushed, one third cup of honey, one fourth cup of water or chicken broth. Now last time I used the water and put, put a little bit of chicken broth stuff in it and mixed it up. Two tablespoons of... Rice wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Now that's what I didn't have last time. Didn't have any apple cider vinegar. But it was so delicious then. But tonight I have the apple cider vinegar. And a tablespoon of soy sauce. So that is all you need. Um, I'm going to cook it on top of the stove. And um, it's going to be so yummy. Oh my gosh, it's going to be yummy. So I got to get the vegetables in still and um, set you guys up. All right, everyone. I have already cut most of the fat and stuff off the chicken. Um, I'm going to season the chicken. I'm going to use Cavender's. Let's see. Can you see that? Yes, you can. I'm going to use the Greek seasoning Cavender's. I'm going to use my Himalayan salt. I have some black pepper and um, garlic salt. Let's see. I got garlic salt and garlic powder. This is garlic, um, garlic chicken, so it's honey garlic chicken. Yep, that's what I'm going to use. So we are going to season this up with all this stuff, and I'm going to throw it in the pan. And, that, and then I'm just going to, like, sear it on each side, and then I'm going to do the mixture. So I'm not going to even turn that on yet. I better set the timer for, for the um, vegetables, though. Otherwise, I will forget. I'm going to put the vegetables in for like 40 minutes. All right, so I'm going to make a mess here. I'm going to do... This is like all yucky. What is it? Oh, just needed... I'm going to do each side. That's, that's garlic salt. We have a little bit of garlic powder. I'm just leave that open. We have black pepper, lots of black pepper. Shoot. The Himalayan salt. Gotta drink some water. 
the um, cav cavenders, lots of cavenders. There we go. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven, and um, or not in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the pan and um, do the other side. So I'm just gonna put it over here in the pan. This one is pretty big. Come on, baby, get up on there. It don't want to. It's like, no, don't eat me. Don't eat me. <laughs> I'm goofy. I'm goofy. I can't help it. All right, it still don't want to go, so I'm going to have to force this sucker in the pan. Get over there. <laughs> All right. After I made a mess, let's slide this over. I want you guys to be able to see, so let me just clean up some of this mess. All right, now you should be able to see it. All right. So we have it in there. I'm gonna season this side. And then I'm just going to turn it on and share it a little bit. Meanwhile, Henriette is going to get the rest of the stuff ready for us. All right, Henriette? Thank you, honey. Okay. And um, you want to talk about what you're getting as you're doing it? That would be good. Or what? I'm not getting hit in the face with a measuring cup. No, yeah, don't hit yourself in the face. Cup recipe. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on, and I am going to um, get it started. Oops, wrong lid. Can you guys see that now? Looks really good. Where are the measuring things? Fresh garlic. With my new garlic press, I'm gonna <laughs> use. I'm gonna use it. Wait, right, I need the lid for this. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna brown both sides of the chicken while we gather the other stuff up. Um, Henriette hits her head every time she's here. Oh my lord! All right, that's what we're doing. All right, guys, Henriette is getting everything ready. I am going, I'm going, I get to do this. I get to use my new garlic press. <laughs> it's okay. my new garlic press. So it's at one fourth cup of water, chicken broth, and we're just going to put this stuff in it because this is easier. It's not going to focus. It said one fourth cup of water or chicken broth, right? Yeah, but we're going to do Yeah, this. but we're going to use water with a little chicken like based one? in it. Um, probably a whole spoon. And I've never used the garlic press, so I get to use the garlic press. So excited. I am excited. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl though, because I'm the garlic don't go in there. The garlic goes in the the garlic goes in the bowl. Goes up. Or it goes in in, in, the, in the middle of the chicken. So I think we probably should make more. We can. I think we should How make because it's just make. the juice. I think we should. Like, How much was it supposed to be? A half a cup? One fourth? A one fourth. We'll make it up to a half at least. And that way we have more. Because it was really good. And I think we needed um, more juice to go around it. Get all of it. That's okay. That's okay. And then the honey goes in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a little bear. It's so cute. So how much honey does it call for? Mm -hmm. One third cup. One third cup. Um, I would just use it. Well, it calls for one third cup, guys. Use as much as you want. The juice around your um 
around your um, chicken is, is so good. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. Like you sir? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use my garlic press for the first time. Okay, are you done? Did you shit yourself? Okay. I did not. You did too. No. All right, guys, I gotta use my garlic press. Here it goes. Maybe. Oh, is it going? What in the heck? Maybe I need a metal one. Maybe I do need a metal one. It feels like it's going to break. But I guess it's not. There it is. Fresh garlic. Now, the fr the garlic goes around the um around the chicken in the thing. Around the chicken in the thing. Well, they um, put it like under the skin because they had the stuff with the skin on it. I kind of like um it didn't really do very good. This this garlic press didn't do very good, guys. I think I kind of like cutting it up myself better. Maybe I'm not going to like a garlic press. So Henriette has the um, the mixture ready. Oh no. use, use the rest of that honey if you can. Okay. I don't know why this thing doesn't. It's kind of not a big enough piece. Well, I still don't want to waste it. The rest, I don't want to race. I don't want to race the rest of it. Did you hear me? <laughs> I don't want to race the rest of it. Yeah, I don't think I like the garlic press. I think that um, what are you doing? That's how you get it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how do you know this? Um, because my grandpa used to cook all the time, and I would help him. <laughs> Like from scratch. All right, I think I kind of like cutting it up with by hand, <laughs> but we can try it again. We can you try do a, it, and then you pull that thing out. We can try a bigger piece. Here we go. But yeah, I don't think I'll buy another one because it feels like it's gonna break. It feels cheaply made because it's plastic. Miss Henriette is um, knows how to do this kind of stuff. No, but you taught me a lot of stuff with cooking, too. There we go. See, you can do it. I can do it. <laughs> it's weird. And then... I never used a press. This is considered a tablespoon, right? That's a teaspoon. A little one is a teaspoon. Okay, so I gotta get a big one. For what? For the apple cider vinegar and the soy sauce. Oh, we didn't use the, t the apple cider vinegar last time. No. We should put flour in it too. Maybe it'll make it thicker. Well, I don't know. I've, I've seen that in a different recipe, but it was really good the way it was last time, so I don't think I want to do all that. All right, guys. Lots of garlic. Smells good. And I've got a mess. A big mess. <laughs> it was easier to chop it up. And put it in that press. <laughs> I thought, Thomas, you make it look so easy in your press. But his press is metal, so maybe his press is better. Yeah, this is, um, wasn't as easy as it looked. And I wasted, like, a lot of it stuck up in here. Okay, so this wasn't my favorite gadget. If you don't have one, just keep chopping up your... Just keep chopping up your um, garlic. You just need another one. I'm glad I only paid a dollar for it. <laughs> and then we got apple cider vinegar. That's two tablespoons. How much? Two. Two tablespoons? Yep. So that's what we didn't use last time. We did not Strong. use the apple cider vinegar last time, so I just made a mess. All right, I'm gonna flip the chicken over. Then one tablespoon of soy sauce. A couple of these chickens are really good. I flip them over, and while they're cooking, I'm gonna turn them around. Okay. So you got everything that we need there? Yeah. All right. So. 
I'm going to put a little bit of the garlic in here, guys. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit for now. Oh, it's even better this time. Is it? Yeah. It said to put the, um... Yum. Put some of the garlic around the chicken while it's still searing. And then move it around. Not yet. You're a chef. Ah, I'm a chef, yep. yeah. This was so good last time, mm. guys. It was delicious. So I'm gonna let that side brown a little bit and then we're gonna we gotta pour the stuff in, right? Yeah. Oh flour. It'll probably make it thicker like the Chinese stuff that they do, like yeah, orange chicken. I don't know if I wanna do that. I did look at it. This is the honey. Give me the rest of that honey. Can we... We can somehow pour some of this in there. Yeah. Shake it up and then we'll have more. We'll use all the honey. That way we get all the honey out of the bear. <laughs> honey bear. Honey bear, please. Honey bear, please. Look at that. Oh. You got it? Yeah. Have to buy some more honey. Yeah, this made it so good. Now we could probably, I mean it was so good last time, I hate to change the recipe. I'm not going to change it. I was, we'll try the flour another time. I don't want to change it because it was so good last time. So it's honey garlic. There we go. I'm still cooking the chicken over here. And then, um, what did it say? Just to pour it over top? I can't remember yeah. how we did it. it was, you know. All right. So the chicken's got to cook a little bit longer. Was the chicken supposed to cook all the way first? Yeah. All the way? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then we're not going to pour it in here. Let me put some more garlic in here with this chicken. But the longer you put sauce in there, it probably get thicker. Yeah, let's go ahead and pour it in. It tastes different this time. It's not bad. You can taste that, that yeah. vinegar. Alright guys, here we go. We're just going to pour this right over top of the chicken. Right over top. There we go. And I'm going to put all this garlic down in there. Not putting the garlic on the chicken. I'm putting it down in, in, in around the chicken. Might have used a little bit too much garlic, but it'll be okay. This garlic's good. Garlic chicken. Yum. All right. Now I'm just going to cook it until it's done. So you have to just watch it yourself. There's no, I don't have a timetable. I do probably, but um, let's see. Does it say a time on here? I think so. It says cook time 20 minutes. Okay, so minutes. that's what it says, 20 minutes, but it's probably from the time we start. So um, that's what's left on the timer right now, 20 minutes. We ex have exactly 20 minutes left on the timer for the vegetables. Now, I don't know if the vegetables are going to be done, but I am going to turn this on low and cook it low for the next 20 minutes. And then we'll get the timer out and we'll see the temperature, see what the temperature is. So we'll be back. All right, guys. So we are, oh, well, we don't even have to um, look at the thermometer. That's yeah. the largest piece. And it is completely done. It's like 191. Yeah, it's way done. All right, so I have to check the vegetables. I did put on some macaroni and cheese because Tyler's not on a diet. And he's going to want some macaroni and cheese. So this is completely done. I'm turning it all the way down. I'm actually going to turn it off. I'm just going to put the lid back on it and turn it off for now. The macaroni's going for Tyler. And I'm going to pull the vegetables out and see if they're done. 
I hope we didn't overcook that chicken. I'm kind of a little nervous that I did. And it might not be as good as it was last time. I need more room in my kitchen. It's terrible. All right, guys, the timer's going off now. Let's see if the vegetables are done. Hot, hot, hot. There we go. All right, here's the test. Are they done? Am I going to get burned? They might need cooked more. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> it looks delicious. But yeah, I think they need cooked more. They definitely need cooked more. Dang, I must have cooked them like an hour and a half or something last time. And I must have put a lot more butter in them. Because they're going to definitely need cooked a lot more. A little shit fire. Where'd that scissors go that I had? No, they're, they're dirty, I guess. Where are they? Okay. I'm going to try to cut some of these carrots up. I need another stick of butter, too, probably, Henriette. This is crazy, guys. It's not even, um... I tried to... These were frozen. I tried to, um... But now it's going to be real fattening with all the butter, but that's okay. It's going to need to be, um, diced in here. Alright, guys. So the vegetables are not going to get done real quick. The chicken's done. I guess I'm eating the chicken without the vegetables. I'll eat vegetables later. Just trying to make them so they cook faster. I've never seen anyone do that, but okay. Cut up the, um... Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Alright, well, it's going to have to cook longer, guys. That's a lot of butter. Mm -hmm. But, it's going to make it good. Okay, I'm something vegetables. It doesn't even feel like the pan's really hot. Maybe the oven isn't working still. I had the guy come fix the oven, guys. And I got a feeling that maybe the oven's not even working. Maybe it's not at its temperature. Because this should have been completely done. Let's take that pan out. This definitely should have been completely done. Now I have to put it back in there. And the chicken's done. Here we go. It's going back in. Cook! Cook! I guess I'm putting it back in for another 30 minutes. Alright. So, um, yeah. Y'all are way over there. Vegetables didn't get done. Chicken's done. Macaroni's done. I'll see you at the dinner table. Alright, guys. The vegetables didn't get done. So now I have to eat macaroni and cheese with my chicken. Look at all the juice. It's going to be so good. What do you think? It smells good. You going to try it? Yeah. Take a bite. Me? Cut that baby up. You give me a big one. You can go first. It's a right. chicken breast. I can't help it. It doesn't look overcooked. I hope not. Okay? I'm so worried. Last week it was so delicious. Oh, it's good. It's not overcooked? Mm -mm. All right, guys, I'm going to try it. Yummy. All right. So, yep, cut my head off. All right, guys, I am going to try it. 
I hope it's not overcooked. It was, I have never had chicken as good as this chicken was last, last week when I cooked it. So, let's see. Take the biggest part of the chicken. And see if it's, I, cause it, the temperature thing was 195. So that to me that, I think I overcooked it. But Henriette says it's not overcooked, it's but good. I will know if it is. Here we go. Oh my. Oh my God, it's good. Told you. <laughs> it's good. It might be a little overcooked. It's really good. It's pretty dang tasty. And then I poured the juice over top of the chicken. So the juice made it, it made it taste really good. Last week, we did not put the apple cider vinegar. So you don't have to put that. Because it was really good last week without it. And the chicken was really good. I think I just cooked it a little bit too much. But it, it tastes good. It's falling apart. The sauce is just more tangy now. The sauce is more tangy? Mm -hmm. Remember last time it was just really sweet? I liked it sweet. <laughs> I definitely liked it sweet. Boy, is it good. Oh my goodness. Alex, I know you're watching this. This chicken is the bomb. You gotta try to cook it. It's so good. He tells me he watches my cooking videos. Mm. So nobody tell him. Let's see if he really watches it. <laughs> I'm sure he does. It's really good though. Really, really, really good. Anyone who tries this recipe, let me know. And like I said, if you don't like as much garlic, leave some of the garlic out. Um, but it's garlic honey. I would like to have extra, extra honey. And another recipe called for everything the same, except for it called for flour. I guess to make it thicken up around it. So I might try it with flour another time. I'm not sure, but it's, it's so good right now. Haley, you want to try it? I'm doing my hair right now. Okay. It's really good. Mmm. I like it. I like it too. I like it a lot. And then macaroni is normal macaroni. And I'm on a diet, so I didn't get a whole lot, but I spread it out so it looked like it was more. <laughs> and I have my vegetables still cooking. My oven wasn't working right, and um, the guy came out to fix it. And um, one of his parts was a defect. So he fixed one piece. But he didn't fix the other piece. So now supposedly the oven is staying at its temperature. But on the inside it's it's hotter. But I don't think it is. Or it would have cooked. It would have gotten done. So I don't know. I've had a lot of problems with um, Whirlpool appliances. So if you go to buy appliances, don't buy Whirlpool. Mmm. Delicious. It's real good. The sauce around it is um, what makes it. Mm -hmm. The honey sauce, the honey garlic sauce. Mm -mm. Really good. All right, guys. I had to chew that up before I could talk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you make this honey honey chicken, the honey garlic chicken. Um, I'll put the recipe in there in there for you guys. So let me know if you make it and um, enjoy it. Don't overcook your chicken because I overcooked just a teeny bit today. But last week, oh my lord, it was delicious. It's delicious today too. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace, guys. Mmm.